Hello friends, I can't believe we have two months left of 2021. In today's video, I'm making my November bullet journal spread. I just can't believe it. I cannot believe we are in the last quarter of 2021. <laughs> Anywho, while I'm getting started, my name is Christina. If you are new to the channel, I love making bullet journaling, organizing, hauls, and lifestyle videos. So if that is something you are interested in, please support the channel by subscribing. For November, I decided to create a minimal landscape with winter hues. When I came up with this one, I realized that I love making landscapes. Like I just made one back in August with my desert theme. It got me thinking, if there is one artistic technique, you know, I want to get better at, I would want to improve at painting clouds. I have no idea why, I just cannot figure it out. I've watched countless YouTube videos, tutorials, I've looked at pictures and just cannot get it. Um, but I figured I need to just be a little bit more consistent. So I came up with a brilliant idea to practice every day for 30 days. And I'm not sure if I'm going to document it in a vlog because you know, I'm not sure if anyone would care to see that. It's more so for me because I'm terrible at it. And you know, I just wanna get better. I'm definitely going to make TikTok videos. I'm just unsure about vlogging the entire experience, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> um, I do love doing these 30 day challenges. I did one, I think last year with calligraphy and committing to 30 days, it keeps me accountable. I stay on track, I stick to the schedule. So I'm really excited for this 30 day challenge. I'm glad that I played around with dimension for this setup, not in a difficult or complex way, but having the text November hide behind the mountain just a little bit makes a difference in the overall design. It's so simple yet more interesting than if I had just centered November in the middle of the page. Even though I mentioned I was using colder tones, I love the splash of this yellow orange because it's a perfect depiction that even when it's winter and the sun is beating on you, it's just as powerful in the summer. So I wanted to translate that in this spread. I know you can't see the full quote right now, but it currently says, go feel alive, which could be the quote too. But the complete quote for this month is, go where you feel the most alive. I picked this quote because it's inspiring. After all, where you feel alive is different from where I feel alive. It makes me think of how on my birthday, I love doing something not so glamorous, something like camping or just something low key. And the experience always grounds me. Most times I'm reminded of what's essential in life. And it's not the materialistic things that temporarily make us happy. It's the people, it's taking care of ourselves and one another in the most natural and instinctive ways.
As I said earlier, I love taking the text and hiding it behind something for this month's spread. So I did the same for the monthly overview. This technique is conveniently part of the overall theme. I initially only did it to make the cover page more interesting, but it's definitely happening throughout the rest of the spread. Over the last few months, I don't know if it's because I've been so busy, but practical setups are vital. With my personality, I thrive when I create a to-do list and then cross it off. So as of lately, not having too much space taken up by doodles and drawings, I've decided to create a more functional and straightforward setup. I made this realization in October because I made a beautiful October bullet journal spread. It was a witch's apothecary themed. <laughs> I doodled a bunch of jars, vases, and just little things that, you know, make a witch's kitchen a kitchen. Um, it was a lot of fun. And the plan was for my weekly setups to doodle a couple of things, but that just didn't even work out because I did not have the time or bandwidth to do it. So I just created seven boxes and called it a day. Luckily the spread was on black paper and I used white ink the whole month. So that was fun and interesting. So not having the doodles there wasn't completely boring. <laughs> On the right side, I have a lot of space for important dates, videos, and my wins. When I was using Passion Planner, there was a section at the end of every month where you'd answer a series of questions about how your month was. For example, what was the most memorable part of this past month? What were the three biggest lessons you've learned? What or who are you especially grateful for? I miss having a space for expressing my gratitude. So I know it's only a tiny section, but I added my wins for that reason. You'll notice I'm not creating a habit tracker this month. I'm just going straight for the weekly setup. As I said earlier, I've been so busy and I wish I had enough time and capacity to concentrate on the habits I want to track. And although I am doing some of them sporadically, it's not that I've completely stopped doing it. It's the act of going into my bullet journal to mark the habits that has become a chore. Once I settled into the new house, fully unpacked and have a grip on my routine, I'll start making my habit tracker again. But as of right now, it just, I don't know, it just feels like a burden. I'm drawing out a mini calendar in the top left corner and seven boxes for each day. I even spiced things up with a drop shadow, which I rarely do. I thought it would be fun to once again create depth. I just took one of the Tombow dual brush pens and colored it on the right hand side of the box. That is it for my November bullet journal spread. I also made a YouTube video of my sister's bullet journal for November. That'll come out later this week. The theme is leaves. So please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that notification bell so you know exactly when I'll post that. I'm hoping everyone has a great week and I'll see you all next time. Bye.